Uh, good afternoon. Uh, today, I also would like to ask you a question about auditing, but in a little bit different way. I mean, when the audit is completed, when the role of the auditor is finished with the, the writing a report, or there is still something which auditor is responsible for? Right. I think there's still something that they need to do, which is probably <laughs> one of the most important parts of if we look at the total audit process is really mm -hmm. important. So as you've said, the auditor is going to look at all their objective evidence. They're going to determine about compliance, non-compliance or opportunity mm -hmm. for improvement. They're going to formulate their audit report and they're going to communicate the findings back to the relevant process owner. And hopefully, if there's been good communication in the audit, the process owner will agree to the findings without having any debate or any arguments, because mm -hmm. they should already been made aware that the problem exists at the time of the audit. So if we've done mm -hmm. good communication, they should acknowledge the report, agree to the findings, and then what they have to do is agree to the relevant timescales to correct the problems, to take the immediate action to correct the problems, but also to do the root cause analysis and take the systemic corrective action. Now, the time scale is not defined in either ISO 9001 or IETF. In ISO 9001, it talks about taking action without undue delay. Yeah. So the auditor has to look at their own company system and then they need to agree timings with the process owner to take the correction to do the root cause analysis take the systemic corrective action and then the auditor role then is to verify that those actions are actually taken mm -hmm. yeah that it's not just a plan and then the auditee forgets about it that they see the actions through to completion and they implement the actions effectively. So what the auditor will do is some form of follow-up audit activity mm -hmm. that might be done remotely for a small problem, maybe a minor nonconformity, or if it's a big problem, a major nonconformity, the auditor might physically have to go back into the work area and verify that the corrective action has been effectively implemented and what they will do is maybe take another sample, some more audit evidence to verify that the problem hasn't cropped up again. Mm -hmm. What would happen if the auditor would figure out that the actions implemented to close the nonconformity are not actually effective? Right. Great question. So the initial thing is they would communicate with the relevant process owner. And if the relevant process owner didn't take the appropriate action, then that problem needs to be escalated within the organization. Mm -hmm. One of the inputs to management review is the results of internal audits. So management should be made aware, not only that the audits have been done, but what were the findings of the audit? And then are there any outstanding audit nonconformities that have not been effectively closed. So it's not uh, going behind anybody's back. It's just being very factual and saying, out of these audits, we still have these outstanding nonconformities that we haven't been able to verify as closed, which poses the organization a risk. And then management mm -hmm. have to investigate that and provide the relevant resources to make sure those problems are effectively fixed. Mm -hmm. So it seems so that um, this might be later the responsibility of top management to work to close the nonconformity. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or influence the process owner to find yeah. out why mm -hmm. they cannot fix the issue. Maybe it's a financial resource. Maybe they need to go and buy some new equipment. Maybe mm -hmm. they need to invest in some external training. But mm -hmm. what it's doing is not blaming the process owner, but it's just <laughs> escalating and saying, we have this outstanding issue. We have to resolve it. It doesn't seem to be being resolved by the normal channel. Therefore, we need to escalate it through the management review process. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, true. Thank you, Paul, for today's question. Um, let's meet again. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.